Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Difficult and Demanding Podcast Sideshow. And the purpose of this sideshow is just to give you a little taste of what my actual audio full podcast is about. Just my personality, how I like to discuss things, and if you don't know, my podcast focuses on the ridiculous things that go on with life. People, news, whatever you can think about. I say some of the most outrageous, craziest, and scariest things. So you really don't know what to expect from me. So today, the name or the title of the sideshow, difficult and demanding sideshow episode is called Dick Pick Surprise. <laughs> Now, for some of you, you can probably figure out what this is about, but I can guarantee you the twist that I'm going to take with this is going to be much different than what you would expect. So let me give you an idea of what's going on. Um, I basically had my social media virginity pop the other day. I actually received my first unsolicited dick pic. <laughs> And basically what happened is I post on Instagram at difficult and demanding, again, on Instagram at difficult and demanding. And most, if not all of my pictures are very sultry, very sexy, um, very sassy, because that's how, my, that's how I am and that's what my podcast is about. It's just outrageous and out there. So the name of my podcast and you know my social media account is difficult and demanding. So I get a post on one of my, um, a comment on one of my posts stating that I believe he said he has a big, difficult and demanding cock, something like some crazy shit. So I looked at his crazy ass post and I said, well, you know, I hope that you can find some peace and serenity and happy, you know, happiness one day. And then a few days go by, and I guess the same day he sent me that sent me that crazy ass comment, he actually sent a photo. But I don't check my DM often. I get to it when I can, and I also respond to my comments like once a week. I'll just, you know, just ba -da 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 -da, done with all my comments. I'm just not on top of it like that. So I go into my DM and there's this blurred picture. And in this blurred picture, I'm thinking, like, I know this is not what the hell I think it is. And I tap on it, lo and behold, it's what the fuck I think it is, bush and all. So I'm sitting there and I'm laughing to myself. And I'm like, wait, what do I want to do with this fucking shit? So I responded to the dude and I said, you know, I really think you have too much time on your hands. Like seriously, you have too much motherfucking time on your hands. So he responds back and he says, Oh, I'm sorry, you know, da, da 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 I'm thinking to myself, motherfucker, you just sent me a picture of your cock. What the fuck are you sorry for? If anything, I should be sorry. Now, for some of you dirty-minded motherfuckers out there who are not paying attention to what I'm talking about, I'm going to answer your question. You're probably saying, Tara, so what did it look like? What it looked like doesn't really motherfucking matter. Let me explain to you why. Because there's a stereotype out there saying, you know, if you're this race, it's going to be like this. If you're that race, it's going to be like that. All that shit is shit. Let me start there. Stereotypes are based on some fraud ass bullshit. You can have a range of sizes and a range of races and it doesn't mean a motherfucking thing. Now, if the bitch son of a bitch had two or three heads, then I would dive into details on you with you on that bullshit. But I only have one head, so that's not what I want to focus on. But for those of you who are curious, I'm not going to tell you what the fucking look like. But yes, the shit was a wreck and a bush was there and I didn't ask for the son of the bitch to send that shit to me. Do you understand? So. Let's move on. So I start thinking, because this is just how my brain works. I like to dive deep. Human behavior, it intrigues the fuck out of me. And I want to know, like, who does shit like that? First, how do you have enough time to do that shit? How do you go send that shit to a stranger? Three, what the fuck were you expecting from me? And five, what the fuck? I mean, seriously, what the fuck? So again, I told you, he responded back and he said, I'm sorry. And I said, look, dude, don't be sorry. Do you, be you. If you want to go around, you know, snapping pictures of your fucking junk, do that shit. Why do it and feel bad about it? Why have regrets? If you want to have some motherfucking regrets, you shouldn't have done the shit in the first goddamn place. Do you feel me? So if you did something wrong, own that shit. If you did something and you don't give a fuck, own that shit too. If you did something, 
You feel bad about it? Learn from it. Don't do it again. Whatever. And I told him, who am I to judge you? It's not mine. It's not my place, space to judge you whatsoever. Because really, I don't give a fuck. But hey, I got to show that I'm a human being with compassion and empathy. So I told him, look, I can't judge you. And if I try to, it really doesn't motherfucking matter. Thank you for your motherfucking gift. But you really need to figure out some more productive things to do with your goddamn time instead of sending dick pics to motherfuckers who didn't ask for. But it makes me think, why are people sending pictures of their fucking junk? That's what I'm trying to understand. Like, what would, what is missing? What are you looking for that will cause you to sit there, get yourself aroused, and send that shit to someone who didn't ask for Like, why would you do that? And the first thing that pops in my motherfucker mind is the motherfucker has issues, issues. If a motherfucker's going around sending his dick to strangers, what that tells me, he is fucked up from the sun up, from the sun down. First. Second, that shit must work because he wouldn't be doing that so blatantly if he did not get what he wanted from people. So then that makes me believe, assuming he likes females, he sent it to me, I'm a female, so let's assume. What female would would interact with that like that, it's got dysfunction on top of dysfunction what did he expect me to do did he expect me to take a video of some shit did he expect me to show him my, like what the fuck did he actually expect from me and what the fuck have people how what have people what do you do in shit like that <laughs> you guys got to leave me a comment and let me know like how do you guys react? Because I know a lot of people, you're sending, you know, you're sexting, you're sending all these messages back and forth. And I'm the type of person, fuck a picture, fuck a message. If I want that shit, I want that shit in my motherfucking hands. I don't goddamn window shop. Window shopping doesn't work for me. Either I'm in the buy or I'm saying the fuck out the store. That's just how I roll. I don't play motherfucking games because when I'm ready to eat, you better believe there better be some fucking food on the table and I'm ready to eat. I don't walk around motherfucking table full of food and I'm hungry and I ain't got no motherfucking money. That doesn't work for me. When I want to pounce, I want to motherfucking pounce. And when I don't want to pounce, I don't pounce. I don't play that teasing, that grin. No, 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 no. If you haven't figured out about the name of my motherfucking podcast, Difficult and Manny, I want what the fuck I want, when I want it, how I want it, how long I want it, why I want it, and who the fuck I want it from. Let's get that straight. And if that shit cannot be met, up, hands off, I move the fuck off. Simple as that. I don't play these fucking teasing games. I will eat your ass alive, regurgitate you, and eat your motherfucking ass again. Let's be clear. So females are sending them pictures. But let's just assume they're, she's sending him a video or picture of some shit. And they're going back and forth. What are you gaining out of this? Do you find that you are cared for, you are wanted? Like, what exactly is going on here that you... Sorry, guys, my camera got messed up again because I'm moving. I, I like to move when I talk. Like, what are you gaining from this? Like, what are you really gaining from this? Is it showing that you are wanted? That you can get someone? That you can treat someone? Clearly, something is missing within you that you've been terribly traumatized that you would feel a need to send something so private and so precious to someone else. And you're saying, who, who are you to judge? I'm not judging. I'm trying to understand the motherfucker why. I want to know why. Why are you got your shit out there like that? Why, why is it out there? As a matter of fact, you're giving that shit away for free. And you're thinking, oh shit, how are you going to, you, you talking about porn, fuck porn, porn, prostitution, call it what the fuck you want. How are you gaining from this shit? He sent me a motherfucking picture. His bitch ass is not getting a motherfucking thing from me, but some compassion, and I move the fuck on. But for those of you who are indulging in it, I'm asking, how are you gaining from it? And whatever gain you're getting, it's so minuscule and so fleeting, it defeats the goddamn point. It defeats the point. If it's not adding zero to your motherfucking bank account, it's not adding to your motherfucking resume. It's not help, helping to heal any past life traumas you got. If it's not improving you mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, any way, shape, or form, then why in the fuck are you wasting your goddamn life away? Huh? 
you got to make moves that move you in the direction of progression. You can't be wasting your motherfucking time on sending fucking dick pic, pussy pics to motherfuckers who, who ain't nothing, will never be nothing, and this is what I was all concerned, they might, have, they might as well stop fucking breathing. Poof, be dead. People have to start understanding that life is about energy. And if you're wasting your life forth, your vitality on some bullshit, don't be surprised when your life is full of bullshit. That's just how it works. Now, if you want to take sexy folks and send it to someone because you love them, it's something, whatever, I don't give a fuck. Do what you want. But if you're out there sending things to people you don't even know, who clearly don't give a fuck about you, just to get some attention, you got to work on your self-esteem. Because as far as I'm concerned, if I want motherfucking attention, I can drop a fucking eyelash, boom, I got attention. Stomp my motherfucking feet, I got attention. All you got to do is change your goddamn mindset about life and things will start to happen a lot differently than what you're used to. So really think long and hard about the shit you're putting out there on social media, whether it be Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Think really long and hard. Also think long and hard on who the fuck you're connecting with. Because after I showed this guy, like, look, it's cool. Find something better to do with your time. Then he starts telling me, you know, I'm confused and my life is lost and, you know, I'm in turmoil and da 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 da. And I'm thinking, oh, 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 oh. See, a motherfucker that appeared to be fun and risque and adventurous turned out to be fucked up from the sun up to the sun goddamn down. Sent me a video saying, you know, thank you so much. You didn't judge me. What's your name? What do you look like? Oh, so now I made a my I made a friend off of a dick pic. <laughs> How lonely must you be? How lonely must you be? Like seriously? How lonely must you be? You went from trying to fuck me through a dick pic to now trying to befriend me through that same goddamn dick. Now, I don't know about y'all. But that shit is twisted as fuck to me. And what that tells me is, OMG, I need to run, run, run fast, run hard, and don't look the fuck back. First, second, he sent me a thank you video for not judging him. Let me tell you this. That motherfucker looked like a meth, crackhead, heroin addict, all wrapped in together. Y'all have, you have to be careful on who the fuck you let into your life. People that look one way in the beginning, that's a costume, that's a costume, that is a motherfucking costume. You have to look for the clues behind the compliments and the attention and all their politeness. All these motherfuckers are looking to do is to latch onto you and suck the fucking life out of you, just destroy you because that's what poisonous confused motherfuckers they do. They see good and they want to latch up to it and they want to fucking just suck you dry. They want to suck the life out of you. So going forward, I hope you guys can take something from this. Like I said, I talk about some crazy shit, but behind it, I also teach some life lessons. And that is what the I'm Difficult and Demanding podcast is about. I say crazy, scary, hilarious, funny shit, but in there, you will find some words of wisdom. I also, I tell the truth. I tell it raw, unfiltered, and I shoot straight between the eyes. So if you enjoy that type of thing and you don't have a lot of time as far as listening to my full 60-minute episode, then the Difficult and Demanding podcast side show will be something that, one, you get to see me, two, you get to hear my lovely voice, and three, you get to be entertained and learn something at the same time. But again, dick pick surprise. If I'm going to send you a picture of some shit, you better believe I'm going to benefit. Do you understand? And it's going to be some concrete benefits. Two, you want to know something about me? I don't motherfucking window shop. When I go to shop, I go to motherfucking buy. If I can't buy, I'm not in a motherfucking store. So if you people out there fucking sending out, you know, dick pics and pussy pics and all that, like it's nothing, eh, don't even send it my way because I'm not even interested. I'm a more hands-on type of person. All this internet connection bullshit, I don't fuck with. I can't smell it, taste it, touch it, hear it. Don't even send it my motherfucking way. I don't. Maybe I'm old school because I'm going to be 41 in August. I don't know. Don't send me no shit that I can't touch or do anything with, first of all. Second, if I didn't ask you for the shit, don't go inviting yourself into my motherfucking life, okay? Let's be clear. 
Don't invite yourself into my life. If I want you into my life, you better believe it will be known. Because then it's known, then you're welcome. But if you come knocking on my motherfucking door, don't be surprised if you get cursed the fuck out. I don't fuck with people until I tell you I want to fuck with you. And then you have a choice to tell me if you want to fuck with me back. And the answer is no. Cool, I bounce because it's always some other fucking body else. But if you say you're cool and I'm cool, we can be cool together. But until the next time, I am Tara from the I'm Difficult and Demanding podcast. This was my side show or you can call it a shit show. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you also follow me on Instagram at Difficult and Demanding and on Twitter at Mrs. D and D. And please let me know what you think. If you think I'm too crazy, I am. If you think I'm out there, I am. But I'm really a sweet person, but I can't bite your fucking head off at the same, the same goddamn time. See you guys later. Bye.